Asian blepharoplasty, extremely large creases and uneven. Hi, I am extremely worried about my upper incision Asian blepharoplasty. I am having issues looking all the way up with my right eye. My creases are extremely huge and uneven, and I have some slight difficulty closing the right eye. Should I be concerned? My eyes were actually a lot nicer before the blepharoplasty, and I'm extremely regretful of this decision. Thank you for your question. You provided a photo showing um, your concerns about your eyelids looking uneven and that uh, you are uh, feeling remorse about your decision to have the eyelid surgery and that you preferred the way they looked beforehand. Well, the one piece of information that you did not include when you submitted your question was how long since the surgery has it been um, for you to experience what you're experiencing. So I want to discuss with you a little bit about the, uh, the experiences for most patients who undergo Asian eyelid surgery. Now Asian eyelid surgery is specific in that not only are we dealing with a certain a series of uh, anatomic differences between Asian and non-Asian patients in terms of eyelid anatomy, but in the formation of the eyelid crease, there is a connection that's made between the skin and the muscle that lifts the eyelid called the levator muscle, spelled like the word elevator, but without the E. Now when you create that type of connection, and this is, applies for both the incisional Asian eyelid surgery as well as the non-incisional Asian eyelid surgery, there is a certain factor that results in a lot of swelling between the eyelash margin and the eyelid crease. We refer to this as the pretarsal area. I explained to our patients, and this is something that chances are was discussed with you prior to surgery, is that swelling can artificially elevate the appearance of the crease and it can be asymmetric. When we look at our results, we don't look at the results at one month or even three months, but we look at the results at six months to a year because eyelid swelling can last that long. Now for the majority of our patients for whom a quick recovery is still very important, they're able to go back to work and go about their normal life um, within a week of having a surgery. But true surgical healing, and every cosmetic surgeon will, uh, is, is attuned to this, is really something that goes on for up to a year. And this is particularly um, important in other surgeries as well, facelifting surgeries, rhinoplasty. But with Asian eyelid surgery, although what you see in the first month may be concerning, and looking at your photos, it appears to me that there is some swelling. So clearly this is not likely to be a year later. But where you are in the first month or even two to three months, can evolve and things can certainly change. We see our patients at one week when we take sutures out, we see them at one month, three months, six months, and, and so on for, uh, uh, for the purpose of making sure that healing is going on properly, that there's no evidence of infection or any type of um, unusual uh, re response or scarring. But at the same time, it gives us an opportunity to document the progress so that we can really um, reassure our patients that what they're seeing is not really stuck in time in the early post-operative period. Uh, in fact, when, when I do Asian eyelid surgery, although we do this under local anesthesia with sedation, I will allow the sedation to become a little bit lighter so that the patient can be pretty much awake at a certain point where I can ask them to open their eyes. 
and although they won't feel any pain or discomfort, they open their eyes and it confirms for me real time that the crease and everything that I wanted to set was set in the right place. But certainly swelling is a, is a, a factor that I think that you have to have a discussion with your surgeon about. It's, it's natural to be concerned. But I think a, a, a dialogue with your surgeon is critically important for you to understand what to anticipate. I'm sure you did your research before choosing your surgeon, and certainly you, um, if, uh, if the surgeon has a lot of experience with Asian eyelid surgery, that it is unlikely that there was any kind of um, significant misadventure in your surgery. So go back to your original surgeon, have the discussion about swelling, what to anticipate, and, and then should there be any enhancement necessary. Um, in my practice, our door is always open to our patients, and if they need enhancement, you know, that's the elastic nature of plastic and cosmetic surgery. And so things, sometimes you need to tweak um, a, a result or a procedure to get the maximal uh, potential benefit. And again, this is something that you should discuss with your surgeon. So don't lose faith so quickly and uh, meet with your doctor. And, uh, and, then, and then if you're still not satisfied, I'm sure you can um, move forward with second opinions if you, if you so desire. But I think that your original doctor will probably be able to um, explain to you what's going on with your eyelids. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for your question.